All right, y'all, what it do, what is worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PBH Network. All right, y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all read the title, man. It's based on Nine Will Key Glock. It's based on the sustainability of PRE. And what I mean by what I mean by sustainability is that will the PRE team um, continue the push of what Young Dolph created and started? You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hard, you know, for them. To to be under him and something so abrupt like this happened and um for them to like constant like like instantly pick up from where he left off you know what i'm saying because it was like rest in peace young Dolph. this was this was a very abrupt like death you know what i'm saying and it shocked the whole city of memphis you know what i'm saying especially again uh, condolences to the family my condolences to the family and the whole PRE team, you know what I'm saying? Everybody connected to that man in the most righteous way, you know. But on the flip side, you know, there is the other side. But, so, but I'm going to keep going on the sustainability of PRE. And this is saying if Key Glock is able to hold the torch. Now, can Key Glock push the torch? And what I mean by that is now, let me break it to the yard on that, is that the Young Dolph leave enough knowledge behind for Key Glock to sustain. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, Key Glock doesn't have ownership of PRE. So he really can't push what he want to push, how he want to do what he want to do anyway. So I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, even though he just put some out, him and uh, uh, Moochie Great, they just put some out. You know, it's hot out there. You know, shout out to them guys. Shout out to PRE. And again, rest in peace, Young Dolph. But again, I don't think Key Glock, uh, again, he had, doesn't have enough control of the music label and how, and how the music is distributed. You know what I'm saying? So based on that, you know, um, can Key, uh, based on that, Young Dolph had a pattern, a certain pattern, how he put out music. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying based on that, I'm saying with that, in mind, did Key Glock pick up enough information, you know what I'm saying, from Young Dolph before his untimely demise, you know what I'm saying, and really hone in on how to sustain um, a being in the music game, you know what I'm saying, and not just being, you know, a guy just, just completely dealing with, you know what I'm saying, the rap industry, you know, did he uh, <clears throat> hone him in on you know, different aspects of, you know, how to get the money and, you know, put it in different outlets to benefit you and the family. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure. But again, um, at the same time, we know that um, Key Glock is a little younger. So it's probably some things he hasn't picked up on yet. Because like I said, I told you guys, it's, it's eight legs to a spider. And Key Glock, you know, he may been in there long enough to like really learn the um functionalities of just like two or three to two three of the legs but you still have five more legs that you're dealing with and it's a lot that goes into them five other legs individually when you get to them you know what i'm saying and i don't think he got to that aspect of the game yet or was really taught that aspect of the game to sustain the pre legacy because that's what it's really dealing with and that's what the fans really want you know what i'm saying we uh, we understand that they're in the time of you know grieving you know they got to get through what they getting through and you know they trying to um they still putting out music again that's that's hot you know but at the same time um just like um nipsey hustle i don't want to keep saying his name attached to it but like i keep telling y'all man these two cases to me you know, they similar, you know, they just a lot that's behind the scene that makes it similar to me. You know what I'm saying? Again, dealing with the connection that they both had and their communities and within um, both cities. And we're talking about uh, Memphis from uh, Young Dolph, R.P. Young Dolph. And we're talking about, you know, L.A. Crenshaw District area, uh, Nipsey Hussle, R.P. Nipsey. So, again, <clears throat> similar when Nipsey left. Like it was like a, it was a trickle effect that uh, constantly caused like everything else to slowly like 
not fall apart in everybody's eyes, but it is not wholly connected like when that person that was there, that person is the glue, you know what I'm saying, to the whole web. And when that person is not there no more, like, um, and again, when something just abruptly happens, it takes, it, it, it throws the focus off the whole team. So, at the same, when it takes the focus off the team, the business still got to be done. Bills still got to be paid. Contracts still got to be signed. Deadlines still got to be met. You know what I'm saying? But what happens is people get caught into doing their own thing. And you know what I'm saying? To me, that's what happened. You know, I don't really want to say on the Nipsey hat side, but from the fans' point of view, that is kind of what happened. And we really don't want the same thing happening on Young Dolph's side. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. But it may end up happening because that's just the way. Uh, we're seeing how, like they say, <laughs> the cookies crumble. And not to be laughing, this is not a laughing matter at all. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, it's, it's very disturbing to um, to the family. Again, the city of Memphis, all the people that, you know, that he looked out for and the people that li- literally had, like, genuine love for these people. You know, genuine love for Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? So... What I'm saying is from the person who enjoyed, like, listen to the music and, you know what I'm saying, will it, will, um, did Young Dolph again leave enough uh, wisdom and knowledge behind, or knowledge behind for these guys to pick up a little wisdom and understanding on how the game is ran, you know, because again, if not, you know, like they say, the game is crucial. You know, them guys in them suits, man, they a little more crucial than the guys that you hang with in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think a lot of people know that. A lot of guys I believe in the streets know that, and they kind of get intimidated by that factor. You know what I'm saying? But again, I, I, um, as a person, again, who who is a fan of the PRE squad, you know what I'm saying? Again, I enjoy their music, you know what I'm saying, for many years now. Will Key Glock, you know, ha- does he have have enough, you know, that umf any, you know, or that uh that that leader, that leadership in him, you know, what I'm saying to push the pre pre team in the direction they need to go because you know, like they say, you know, it's it's left up to him, but that's the thing about it. We all know this. And the people on the team, you know, I'm pretty sure they know this, but it's a couple people that's on the team. Because it's everywhere you go, it's everywhere network you mess with. I don't want to put this out there, but everywhere you know that somebody on there, like you know, yeah, he the he, yeah, everybody saying he the leader, but I don't care about him like that. I don't, you know, he ain't my dude. I came on here because of blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no connection with him. You know what I'm saying? I could do my own thing, like. Hey, young Dolph, to put me out there enough, I could do my own thing. And some people may feel that way. And again, we know sometimes this happens because that's the way the game is. You know, you got people, again, want to create their own chessboard. They want to get out and network how they want to do based on what was established by young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? And again, the man was very connected and respected within Memphis. You know what I'm saying? From with our... Within the whole people understand it, within the understanding of this whole case, because again, when a bunch of fingers keep keep getting pointed around about who did what and where was they at at this time, like that, let y'all know it was a lot of people connected to this. That you know, again, names is coming out. So again, beware, because I'm telling you, them names is coming out, and people at the top, man, it's crazy, man. So subscribe to the PBH Network, man. Y'all gonna get more of this. But yeah, RP Young Duff, man. I'll holler at y'all.